If you're a first-time smartphone buyer, or you're looking to get a new smartphone, but you're on kind of a tight budget, all the latest and greatest specifications may not be all that important to you. Sure, devices like the Samsung Galaxy S4, the HTC One, and the iPhone 5S certainly do sound appealing, but if you're on a budget, or again, uh, this is your first smartphone, and you really just want something to get you into that market, all these specs really aren't going to matter that much to you, and that's where devices like the one in my hand come into play. Hey there everyone, how are you guys doing today? My name is Joe Marina and I am from MobileCupOfJoe.com and in this episode of Mobile Cup of Joe, I'm going to be unboxing the Kyocera Hydro Elite on Verizon Wireless. So guys, the Hydro Elite is a very mid-range product. It has a 4.3 inch 720p HD display, a dual core processor, 8 megapixel rear facing camera, all your standard run of the mill mid-range smartphone specs. But what's really cool about this device right here is that it is waterproof. You can submerge this thing up to three feet for up to 30 minutes. So if you're rough on your phone, you take it to the beach or the pool a lot, this thing will be able to take a little dip in the water and still keep on chugging along. So in this video, we're gonna unbox and take a very first look at this waterproof phone, an exclusive on Verizon Wireless, the Kyocera Hydro Elite. But before we go any further, please go ahead and grab that coffee cup, fill it up, run it over, and sit on down. Take a swig for a whole cup of Joe. All right, so we're getting into the unboxing for the Kyocera Hydro Elite right here. I'd like to give a big special thanks and shout out to our friends and partners at Verizon Wireless for hooking us up with the device right here and allowing us to check it out and give you our full review. So in terms of a design standpoint from the box, this is very similar to a lot of the standard uh, Verizon packaging you see on a lot of their mid-range devices. You have the Verizon logo right here with the Kyocera logo on the bottom. On the right, that's the phone number for the review unit. And going up top, we just have showing us what the package contains. You have the Kyocera, or the Hydro Elite by Kyocera, wall charger, USB, cable, all your standard stuff. So let's go ahead and slide off of this part of the packaging. And it looks like nothing on the back with this part of it. So let's go ahead and open it up. And there we have the device itself. We'll go ahead and pop it out from the surrounding red color and there is the Kyocera Hydro Elite right there set it off to the side for a minute got dive into the rest of the box dive into the box that's a good pun since this is a waterproof device so you dive in should really stop explaining the puns and allow you to figure them out for yourselves uh, product safety and warranty information get to know your phone let's not go through all that because it is like what time is it it's like 8 30 or something right now at night and I'm not feeling like going through all those manuals um looks what do we have here it appears we've got a very very large AC wall outlet adapter right here and another compartment for I'm guessing to be the USB cable right there all these dandy little hiding spots for our things with the Hydro Elite and that looks like it's it Standard USB to micro USB syncing slash charging cable, giant AC wall, AC wall outlet adapter. That looks like that's all we're getting here with the Hydro Elite. So let's go ahead and put those in the box. And we'll set those down to the side. And we'll go ahead and zoom in on the phone so you can kind of get a better view of it. So here you have a 4.3 inch display. This is a 1280 by 720p HD display. Uh, this is a waterproof device like I mentioned before, so you should be able to take this thing by the pool or a rainy day, submerge it in up to, I believe, three feet of water for up to 30 minutes, and you shouldn't have any issues with it there. Uh, you see that's not the thinnest device. It's actually kind of chunky uh, compared to a lot of the other smartphones we've been reviewing. And it's uh, in terms of a weight, it's actually pretty light, but again, it is not a thin device by any means necessary. On the back, you have an 8 megapixel rear facing camera LED flash. I believe the front, we have a 1.3 megapixel front facing camera, a 1.5 gigahertz dual core Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 Plus processor, 1.5 gigabytes of RAM. So, very mid range specifications right here. Uh, setup wizard, let's go ahead and hit next for English. Phone activation. Please, while we activate your new phone. And it's activating, it's going. All right, now you see, I will point out that we do have uh, three capacitive touch buttons that are on screen. So if you turn the screen off, these on screen buttons will go away. Back button, home button, 
and a recent applications button. Uh, one thing I do notice off the bat that this is not the best looking device. Uh, right up top you have a giant Verizon branding logo right here. Below it you have a Kyocera logo and on the back you have once again Verizon logo, 4G LTE logo, Kyocera logo. So we are up to about five logos here on the phone which is not that great. Uh, so looks like we can do a starter mode if we're new to smartphones or standard mode. So we're going to go ahead and do standard because we've used a few smartphones in our time here on Mobile Cup of Joe. And it looks like we should be finished setting it up soon. I would hope so because I'm kind of interested to see how this device does perform. Again, on the back, you have kind of a two-tone color scheme going on here. You have a plastic right here that has no glare on it, kind of a texture right here and then you have this kind of glazed glossy plastic where the camera sensor is and two-tone color schemes can be done really good but i'm not entirely loving the look here on this phone now again this is a budget device though so you can't expect you know the latest and greatest uh designs and specifications on here so if you're a first-time smartphone buyer looking to get a phone for your kid uh this should be a fairly solid device uh, we're going to go ahead and send it to our, we'll enter our Google account. We'll do all that stuff later. Uh, not now. We'll just want to get into the phone. Well, yes, you can use all that fun stuff. Let's just dive into it right here. All right, make yourself at home. You have our app drawer right there. And this is the user interface and the home screen for the Kyocera Hydro Elite. This is running, I believe, Android version 4.1 Jelly Bean. Let's go ahead and go into our settings to confirm that really quick. Um, because if it is, that's not really great. Yep, Android version 4.1.2 Jelly Bean. Uh, with 4.2, 4.3 already available to certain handsets, and 4.4 KitKat make, uh, just announced. Uh, kind of disappointed to see 4.1 Jelly Bean on here. A model, a build of Android that at this point is about three versions old. So that's not entirely great, but at least you do have a Jelly Bean and not Ice Cream Sandwich. In terms of pre-installed applications, looks like we have our suite of Amazon apps, Amazon Kindle, Amazon MP3 Audible, Amex Serve, we have caller name ID, we've also got mobile hotspot, My Verizon Mobile, NFL Mobile, Slacker Radio, View Dini, Video Calling, Verizon Tones, Voicemail, VZ Navigator, VZ Security, Weather, all your standard pre-installed Verizon applications. So this is the user interface that Kyocera has implemented. You can see that's a very uh, cu heavily customized version of Android. And it uh, kind of seems like it's slowing the device down a little bit. Uh, actually quite a lot, even with a dual core Qualcomm Snapdragon S4, S4 Plus processor. And that one and a half gigs of RAM does seem like there's a little bit of stutter between th swiping through our home screens. Again, this is a 1280 by 720p HD display, uh, not 1080p full HD, but for a device at a 4.3 inch form factor, I believe you have about 342 pixels per inch. So you still do have a fairly high pixel density here. So, so far the screen actually looks fairly good. Uh, so we'll be interested to see how it performs in a uh, direct sunlight. But the big thing about this phone is that it is waterproof. So if you're kind of rough on your phone, you take it by the beach or the pool a lot, there should be a phone that will be able to take a few splashes, be submerged in water for a bit and still keep on chugging. With all that said, that's all the time we have for this for this episode of Mobile Cup of Joe. Uh, please feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments below about what you what you would like to see us cover in our full review of this device right here and your first initial thoughts of it as well. Uh, guys, you know, well, please feel free to like this video if you did like it. Uh, well, if you do like it, guys, just hit the like button really quick, and it really is a great way to show your support towards the show. And if you want to show your support towards the show even more, I would really appreciate it if you go ahead and hit the subscribe button. For more Mobile Cup of Joe videos, guys, Mobile Cup of Joe, we're on YouTube, we're on Facebook, we're on Twitter. And make sure you head on over to our website at www.mobilecupofjoe.com for the latest in technology news, reviews, giveaways, and more. I'm Joe Marin from mobilecupofjoe.com. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a wonderful day. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.